Hi, I'm Tucker Dennis, Recovery Coach here at Sunshine Coast Health Center in Powell River. Welcome back to part two of Caring Confrontations. As I was thinking about the material this week, um, one thought that came to me, and uh, I think that it's a good one to, to share with you, is that you know when we're learning how to uh, deal with conflicts, with having difficult conversations, um, confronting issues, that sort of thing, uh, all of our intentions and our goals around these things take time. And that we don't just um, often easily learn how to have these conversations or learn how to s set boundaries and, and have it work right away. So I really wanted to make a note of that, that you know, to be realistic about progress, if you will, um, and just be gentle around it. So today's material talked about overbearing personalities. And um, you know, if you have someone in your life that has a very strong personality, a real uh, presence and sometimes aggressive or overly assertive energy, it can be easy to get, feel like you're being swept under by those kind of personalities or that um, the points that you're trying to make or your side of something uh, isn't heard because the other person is basically um, talking over you or you feel like you've been bulldozed sometimes. And so the material today talks about ways to uh, deal with those kinds of personalities. So, you know, remembering to realize that you have a right to your feelings and the way that you think about things, your beliefs, and not to let other people tell you that what you feel is wrong. That's a really important one, is to um, stand by and stand strong in what you feel and what you think. And sometimes it's just a matter of saying, no, uh, I don't agree with you, or my, my stand on this is X, um, and, and just to be mindful when others are trying to make your feelings or how you think about something wrong because you are entitled to the way that you feel and the way that you think and you know that we're all unique we're all different and we all have our opinions and ideas about things so thank you for joining me and um, we'll see you again next week for part three